will do the work for whatever the insurance company pays. You, you hear it all the time, right? And that's called the proceeds model. And this article was posted in Chip Merlin, Chip Merlin's law blog. Chip Merlin is a uh, property coverage lawyer, uh, one of the best. If, if you need a, a lawyer, uh, reach out to him and his network. Uh, they do a really good job. But uh, he posted this article and it noted uh, this Jen Silver. She's the CEO of a contracting company. And she's like, hey, listen, the proceeds model, there can be no dispute. The insurance claims proceeds model benefits only the insurance carriers. Totally agree. Right? It's not fair for anybody involved, contractor and, and homeowner, because the insurance company, that's their tactic. And so what she's noting here is contractors should give a retail price and do the work for the retail price, not whatever the insurance company pays, because you're putting yourself at risk of getting getting an underpayment, and then what do you do? And then, so the, they posted on here the sales cycle of the uh, in proceeds model. Uh, the contractor does everything, including the supplements, and then maybe call in a public adjuster. Now, I, I wanna talk about that. So if you're just giving a retail price to that homeowner, regardless of what the insurance company pays, you wanna have a public adjuster handle the claim. You want, you want somebody who's a third party from you, so there's no conflict of interest, and you want the one that's gonna provide the most value. Like our firm, you know, our, our field adjusters are all IICRC and HAG certified, all Xactimate certified, and all our public insurance adjusters. And it's on purpose because we want to document that claim very properly. We want to notify it properly. So the insurance company has no reason to say that it's not covered or there's limited coverage. You've got to avoid the exclusions, uh, the conditions to coverage, the duties after loss for the homeowner because they need to be able to invoke other parts of the policy if necessary in order to get paid, like the appraisal clause, right? So, or, or legal. And if you didn't do all of the duties, like you must do all. Those are very forceful words in, in insurance policy. So you want a public adjuster way out over here after, after the job uh, gets in and uh, one's going to provide a lot of value so that all you have to do is what you normally do. So like I said, we'll, we'll create the estimate, uh, we'll provide all the expertise, we'll negotiate with the insurance company uh, and, and get that homeowner a proper settlement at the end of the day. Uh, contractor, your price is your price. Uh, so you know, just give a retail price to that homeowner, do the work for the retail price. It's all anybody's asking for. But let a public adjuster handle the insurance claims process. The homeowner overall uh, everybody's going to be better off. Uh, click, uh, email me, insuranceclaimguy@gmail.com, or if you're a homeowner, you want to learn more about your insurance policy and coverages, click the link in my profile, choose homeowner. If you had a recent claim that you want a settlement double check, oh, we look into this stuff for free. If it was denied, underpaid, they said it wasn't more than your deductible, we'll let you know. Uh, and if they treated you right, there's no fee for what we do.